Welcome to our webinar, Modernize Your Existing HR System with Office 365 and SharePoint. I'm Daryl Trimble, CEO of SP Marketplace. And today we'll be talking a little bit about how you can transition your existing HR model to more of a future HR model that is oriented less on administration and more on business partnering and driving better employee service through engagement and self-service. If we take a look at over the years, what's happened with HR systems is it's really moved from a back office orientation focused on administration and information, things like employee records, documents, payroll and salary and organization charts, more to of a process driven where you're automating things like performance reviews, time off request, applicant tracking, even more recently new hire processing on and off boarding. And then as some of the different government agencies and the legal risk has increased, risk and compliance has become an important part of the HR management system. So tracking certifications and compliance for things like safety and other skills. Policy acknowledgement, having employees acknowledge policies saying they've actually read them. And then online training to support both the policy acknowledgements and compliance and training. And then finally, getting much more to a collaborative environment of delivering HR services and engaging employees through portals for HR, employee self-service, manager services, even providing a service request tracking or help desk capability, and an HR resource center for documents, policies, uh, videos, and other things. This is all really a progression of moving from the back office to a more collaborative orientation for HR. If we take a look at what happens in a lot of HR organizations, sometimes they actually blow up and replace many of their HR systems. So it's not unusual over the last 10 years to see a company go through three or four HR systems just to bring in the different new capabilities uh, for HR of new systems. Or another thing that we see out there is they'll keep their base old HR IS system and add standalone applications, which really creates silos of information, multiple employee uh, records out there, and duplication across different components, such, such as things like recruiting or a help desk or performance reviews, and really leading to real chaos of siloed applications. But in this webinar, we're going to show you a different approach, one that leverages something you may already have in your organization or be moving to Office 365 and SharePoint Online. We're going to show you how you can actually give your existing HR system, whether it be uh, an, an extension of your payroll system, such as ADP or other systems uh, that you may have purchased out there. We're going to show how you can take that existing back office HRIS system and with Office 365 and SharePoint, be able to actually wrap that system. And we're going to show you how you can actually add, for instance, an employee portal that is all part of Office 365 and a natural extension to your HR system, a place that employees can go to to find resources, request service from the HR department, even access a knowledge base to get their own answers, or contact HR staff. Also, we're going to show you how you can actually create a manager portal uh, because obviously managers need to different, do different things, create requisitions, put in employee status changes or job changes such as transfers or promotions or salary changes that may need to be approved. As well, we'll show you a, that you can, how you can create a staff portal for collaboration and sharing documentation and developing policies and um, really a team collaboration site that your HR staff can use to track many of the activities that they're doing. And then finally, we're actually going to show you some interesting functions that you can add onboarding to automate the new hire process with a new hire portal as well as tracking tasks for onboarding across the entire organization from HR to IT to facilities. We're going to show you how you can add policy management and policy acknowledgement, something that is a new requirement for many HR teams out there and not part of their existing HRIS system. We'll also show you how you can add applicant tracking. And you may already have this, um, but it also 
uh, allows you to capture applicants from your website and other sources. And then finally, tracking compliance and certifications, making sure that your employees if, may have safety certifications, health certifications, or other things that you may need to track to make sure that you're not in violation of regulations or that you don't have employees that all of a sudden can't work one day because they forgot about getting their certifications. And we'll show you how you can do this without having to have consultants building it using SPHR for Office 365 and SharePoint. This is an, a portal designed to modernize your HRIS with employee self-service portals and HR staff productivity through new capabilities and functions. It is actually part of our SP Workplace suite, and it is an integrated component that allows you to create a digital workplace across departments. And of course, in this webinar, we're going to focus mostly on the HR component, but there are also other uh, portals and operational components for different areas of your organization, all done in a consistent way that creates a digital workplace that delivers a common user experience across many departments. So let's take a look at SPHR. This is a SharePoint application template. Now, it is a full-on application that delivers full features, but it is also 100% customizable by business power users because it's built on native Office 365 and SharePoint. It's integrated in Office 365, which allows your employees to actually access it from the app launcher in Office 365 and be able to transition between things like Outlook, calendars, and so on into these portals. It integrates completely with Office 365 and your intranet structure is very easy to use and deploy. Now what we're going to do is step through some of the different areas. First of all, there is an HR staff site. And this is really where you can do employee record management or you can link out to your existing HRIS system to do that. You can track employee documents and link those to the employee records. You can sync the employee records in this portal to your HRIS system, or you can use that directly. We can also track certifications for compliance and send reminders about due dates, as well as link employees to different training. We can track benefits if you don't have that in your current HRIS system. We can also track things like hiring and employee changes as well. And then finally, there's an optional org chart, which is a very powerful visual option. And we also have it built uh, to integrate with Office 365 groups so that you can do discussions and sharing and collaboration with the HR staff, as well as link it into Power BI for dashboards and reporting. Overall, it gives your HR team more than just a HRIS system of processes and record keeping. It is a collaborative portal that they can actually operate as a team in HR staff site. For employees, we have the employee portal. And this is really where employees can come to get services from HR. They can submit service requests, which is like a help desk, and see the status of their request. There's a knowledge base, which they can get answers for themselves without having to always chase down HR or send emails or have phone calls. You can put announcements out there for employees. You can uh, put a calendar of events that lets employees know about things like employee orientations or uh, other things. They can access resources like policies uh, out there and how-to type of guides, links to different sites, as well as videos. And you can also link out to the other applications that you may already have, such as payroll or in your HRIS, uh, things like time off or benefits or even changing their employee data. All done in the employee portal. We also have a manager portal because managers really need some of their own things. And again, this is something that is flexible and can be viewed from mobile, tablets, or in the office. And it allows managers to access their employees' information as needed. There's a knowledge base specifically for managers. It allows them to submit employee status changes and go through approval processes that are built in. They can submit requisitions. They can also access specific HR resources oriented towards managers. They can also submit employee reviews and, and see existing reviews 
and they can also link out to other systems as well. Again, this is the HR manager. So the other thing with this is that you can actually purchase this and surround your HRIS with only the components you need. So the base package is the SPHR portals. We find that most organizations are very interested in surrounding their HR with some of these portals to modernize it. But it can also augment your HRIS with possibly new functions or functions you may not have or even replace some standalones um, with our common platform kind of approach here. And so we have a hiring uh, application, onboarding application, which automates uh, onboarding for new hires and tracking tasks, performance reviews and tracking those, and finally policy management to allow you to develop policies, get them reviewed, publish them, and then also get employee acknowledgement through policy acknowledgement tracking. All of these are set up in Office 365 and run on SharePoint Online, your existing system out there. Take the time to take a look at this. We have videos of how this all works and how you might be able to modernize your existing HR application and how you can actually drive self-service, better engagement and service to your employees, as well as productivity and collaboration for your HR staff without replacing your existing HR system. Check us out at www.spmarketplace.com for how you can take your HR to the next level.